Go to Photos, search Coffee Background, add an image, click on More, then set the image as background. Now, select the background. Click on Edit, then Blur. Set intensity to 25. After this, go to Elements. Search Triangle. Add a triangle element. Crop and adjust its position like this. Change its color to light brown. Go to Elements. Add a square element. Choose the same color. Adjust its size and position. Go to Photos. Search Coffee Cup. Add an image. Adjust its size and position. After this, go to Elements. Search Shadow. Add a circle shadow. Place it below the plate. Send it to back. Next, search Liquid Splash Coffee. Add a PNG image. Place it behind the cup. Duplicate it and crop out coffee beans. Place it in a different position. Now, add a heading text. Here, we will choose Futura Extra Bold Font. Make it uppercase. Change color to dark brown. Adjust its size and position. Add another heading. Make both texts right aligned. Send it to back. Next, add your product description text. Choose Futura regular font. Make text align right. Change its color to brown. Here, we will select the coffee name text individually and make it bold. Change its color also to dark. Select all text and make a line right. Now, we will add our product image. Remove its background. Add a circular shadow. Send it to back. Next, add a square shadow. Flip it horizontally. Now, adjust and place it below the box. Go to Apps. Search Typecraft. Open Typecraft app. We will choose Barbaro font. Type your text. Now, adjust its shape.
Add it to canvas. Duplicate this text, change your text, update element, adjust shape. We will add box elements. With the help of this, we will adjust text alignment. After this long process, select both texts and adjust their position. Send first text behind the shadow. Select the first text. Choose outline style. Change font color to dark brown. Border to brown. Border width to two. Click on update element. Do the same for another text. Adjust text position. Our coffee ad poster design is ready. Let's zoom in. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments and I'll see you in the next video.